if you only tell bad stories, then everybody believes that only bad things happen. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Podcast Safety Moment. I'm your host, Todd Conklin. I'll be your host for the entire uh, three minutes we spend together on this safety moment. I think you can handle it. Even if you have to go to the bathroom, you can probably stall long enough to hear this safety moment. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We have to tell stories of safety success as well as stories of safety failure. But there's a real tendency, I think, to tell scary stories, stories of failure, in the belief that a scary story, a a bad story, will somehow deter people from being that same person themselves. That's a really interesting problem because it's built on a false premise. And the premise it's built on is that when people make mistakes, when they accidentally do things, when they go to a deviation, they somehow have control over the outcome. They know what's going to happen. And, in fact, the likelihood of the outcome they get is clear to them before they start the project. Error is not a choice. And telling people scary stories doesn't really help them make better decisions. In fact, I would make a pretty good case that talking about safety success stories probably has more value as it relates to operational learning than a hundred scary stories will ever tell. The fallacy of small numbers tells me that when you tell me about a guy who cuts his hand, I will be thinking the entire time, I'm not that guy. I would not have done it that way. There's no way I would find myself in that position. But if you tell me about a group of people that barricaded a truck when they were unloading steel sheets of uh, construction material, and one of those sheets fell, and it fell exactly where they put the barricade, and when it fell, nobody got hurt and nothing was damaged, all they did was drop a giant piece of steel, that's a story I can learn from. If we only tell bad stories then we all start to believe that only bad things happen. When in fact, I'm going to suggest most of the time on your job site, at your plant, in your organization, good things happen and they happen all the time. I'm going to give you a challenge and my challenge is for every one bad story you tell, I think you ought to probably tell four good stories, a four to one ratio. I made it up. It's not based on anything. You can act like it is, but it's not. Tell stories of how safety works. Tell stories of how people predicted failure, put in barricades, safeguards, and defenses, and when that failure happened, they weren't surprised. They were ready. That's a really important safety moment for us. Listen carefully to this one because this one matters a ton. We have to tell stories of safety success. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed this safety moment. Learn something new every single day. I bet you did today. (laughs) Have as much fun as you possibly can. And for goodness sakes, be safe.